So, I've gone from just disappointed to, I guess, angry. What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to today's video, which isn't necessarily a match review on Chelsea's 1-0 loss to Newcastle in the Premier League, but perhaps more an analysis of Chelsea's problems in general. Oh yeah, remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Okay, so I'm not going to hang out any players to dry from this performance, this 1-0 loss to Newcastle. Um, you know, Newcastle scoring in the final minute of stoppage time. The 94th minute and... <laughs> You know, from their first corner, from their first and only corner in the game, Chelsea had, what, eight or something? It looked like they had seven or eight with no reply from Newcastle. But they get one and you just sort of, you know when you know, you know, you just know. Fair play to Brucey's boys and all that for making it a bit of a fortress. Sitting deep, low block, and then taking their only real chance well at the end of the game when Chelsea could make no reply and securing all three points for the tune. And it's not like Lampard's Chelsea didn't run. It's not like they didn't move the ball quick at times. They switched play. Sure, Reese James coming off with an ankle injury is changed the game maybe because he was Chelsea's best player moving forward and maybe even defending and that could just be a devastating moment in Chelsea's season regardless him coming off injured but it's just so lacking incidentally I think Emerson coming on actually offered us something as did Barkley coming on to be honest as well a little something but not much and Bashwai really didn't offer anything so Chelsea did lose 1-0 away at St James's Park Chelsea played their 4-3-3, Kovacic still remained on the bench and I can understand that people were calling out for Mateo Kovacic in this game or perhaps questioning why he wasn't involved but I get it, this is the kind of game where the opposition will play a low block and you do need that extra midfielder to be a player like Mason Mount or Ross Barkley, a more attacking, a more inherently attacking player. Kovacic is an probably the best midfielder out of all of them, but he's better at defending and linking play, linking defense and attack on transition. Chelsea were rarely in transition in this game as expected because they had the majority of ball. So I get it, Mount or Barkley. Tammy Abraham really struggled to get into the game. He did have a good chance right at the end. And to be honest, in hindsight, most Chelsea fans and I would have preferred for Tammy to stay on after watching Michi Batshuayi come on and not really do anything and not being able to get into the game. So what is it? What's missing? This good, the odd good triangle every now and again, you know, in terms of playing between the lines in the final third. But what's missing? I'll tell you what's missing that Chelsea had prior. It's Eden Hazard. This is the kind of game where you need someone to carry the ball into the 18 yard box by yourself. By yourself without relying on any teammate or someone else to help you or look for the path. Sometimes if they're doing a low block like that, you need one of two things. You need Eden Hazard, right, to dribble in, or you need someone who can absolutely thunder hit it from 30, 40 yards or have the confidence to do so, even if it's like a Ruben Neves of like, yeah, Wolves. You know what I mean? That kind of player. Now, Chelsea don't need Hazard, right? Okay, let me talk about this. I maintain this, I said this pre-season, Chelsea will play better as a team without Eden Hazard, and often they have, and this team, Frank Lampard's Chelsea, have demonstrated that at times, but it's moments like this where Chelsea often would lean on their superstar talisman, Eden Hazard, to basically either win a penalty or score the goal. It's moments like this where you think, hmm, Wilfred Zaha? I know people turn their nose up at that, but it's this kind of moment that if Zaha was in this Chelsea team as opposed to his Crystal Palace team, he would get on the ball and he'd probably win a penalty in that situation. When they're all defending in the 18-yard box, you need a ball carrier to move in. To be honest, someone like Christian Pulisic probably would have done better in that instance. I mean... Callum hudson Adoy had good moments in this game and he, I think he perhaps had his confidence drop a little bit. Willian had a couple of good moments, but not enough. Perhaps if he was available on the bench, who knows? Maybe even Willian would have come off for Christian Pulisic as opposed to hudson Adoy. You need a ball carrier in the box. And this kind of leads me on to where Chelsea are generally in the season regarding this. I don't know what to question at this point because Frank Lampard, I have full faith in the coach, his ideas, his ideology, his 
wanting to bring in young players and bring in energy, pace and work ethic. That's all superb and I back that. But I'm wondering, is there something systemic that goes wrong that leaves us devoid of ideas against low blocks? Because it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? It's all very well me saying, oh yeah, Chelsea lack an Eden Hazard, someone to carry the ball through the 18 yard box, walk it through, either bang it in the corner, you know, wait till a, a teammate is really close so you can knock it off in one, two, or set up a goal or score a goal or win a penalty. But that player isn't there and a lot of teams don't have that player but they still beat Newcastle when they're defending deep. I'm not mad Chelsea lost this game, well I am obviously, I, but I saw, you know, as soon as they got that first corner of the game in like the last kick of the game, you just felt it in your gut. You know, I've seen this movie before man, I know how it ends, do you know what I mean? It's everything leading up to that. You can't be annoyed at Newcastle grinding it out and getting their win. You're annoyed at Chelsea for not scoring goals with all that ball. Set piece routines didn't come off whether that was from on the pitch or from a corner. Nothing was working and like I said all the offensive patterns of play a couple of moments. I think Willian for me had probably what I felt was one of the best moments. Sure Tammy Abraham had, uh, saw one of his efforts cleared off the line but there was a moment where Willian drove the ball down the flank or he took a shot on with his left foot as opposed to cutting in on his right which was the right decision but he didn't even hit the target. He's got to be doing better. I think Chelsea did miss Christian Pulisic in this game, but that's the gift of hindsight. And I don't want to talk about no Hazard, no Pulisic, this kind of player that Chelsea were missing because systemically as a team, they need to find a way to win these games. And I don't think it could be necessarily be blamed on personnel. Sure, like I said in the past, you can lean on a superstar, but you can't always lean on a superstar. You need to lean on a really, really superb game plan. So where's the blame light here? People will say in the first half, Mount was pretty poor, and he was. I mean, I think he set up the Willian chance that for me, he should have scored. So Mount wasn't awful. I mean, he had poor moments, but he also had good a couple of good moments. Still, uh, his poor performance governed a switch for Barkley. I completely understood that substitution, but I'm looking else around the pitch. Were the centre-backs particularly poor? No, not really. Were Chelsea just poor at set-piece defending as per usual? Yes, and it was the last few seconds of the game where they conceded, so I understand how a naive young team can't get their concentration. Maybe if that was like the third corner they'd defended, they'd been a bit better. I don't want to forgive them for conceding that, but I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, you know? Really, I think personally, and I genuinely believe this, I think maybe there is too much freedom. There is too much freedom with the midfielders and attackers. I like it, I like the idea, and when you've got... Okay, it's like the Zidane approach when he had that Real Madrid team. Do you know what I mean? He was like a man manager, he was the player whisperer, he got the best out of Marcello, Ronaldo, Ramos, take your pick, Benzema, all of them. He just basically got on their ear and said, look, express yourselves and do what you think's right. Frank Lampard's almost trying to do that with a bunch of youngsters, but also with a really, really high work ethic, which I back. I like how he basically makes sure they're of an elite level of fitness before they go into the team and get into the starting 11. That's great, but I think there's a little bit too much expression here or license to express. He's probably seeing a team like, Newcastle like right they're gonna be in a low block just make sure you're not vulnerable on transition and you know express yourselves and try and break it down I think there needs to be more of that now I'm not thinking I'll revert to sorry ball because to be honest Maurizio Sarri's football often found Chelsea lacking as well in these kind of games when there was a lot of passing but there needs to be that sort of trap of some form of vertical ticky tacker to pull out the opposition and then give them spaces. It's all very well just keeping the ball but then you inherently grow stagnant unless you're a really mature team which Chelsea aren't so there needs to be a sort of plan to give them the ball, give them reason to come out. Do you know what I mean? There needs to be something. Otherwise you need this superstar player and Chelsea do not have it. And with Tammy Abraham, he's not this massive dirty number nine like Diego Costa, which to be honest is another player, very different to Eden Hazard, but a type of player, a player profile that Chelsea missed today in this game. He was the kind of player, if it wasn't Eden Hazard dribbling through the team or doing something in the 18 yard box with the ball at his feet, it was a Diego Costa winning the game dirty for you. And that's, you know, another thing that Chelsea really missed today. So what does Frank do? Does he take this performance to the board, show it and be like, look what happened guys. We need a better second striker. It wasn't coming off for Tammy today. So we need someone to come on and literally 
bully the opposition or do something. Do you know what I mean? Or we need another elite winger right now. Maybe they are in talks of getting Zaha and that this is the tipping point to them. And they're like, right, he's the difference now for us to secure top four. Get Zaha. Say if both Pedro and Willian are going, say get Zaha. And then who knows, hudson Adoy in the... hudson Adoy, Jadon Sancho in the summer. If they want that elite signing. Do you know what I mean? Because other than that, Chelsea controlled the midfield. Maybe Kante was poor in the first half. I think he gave the ball away and didn't win a lot of duels. I, I'm, I'm, but he did He did make the right movements, I think, in Golo Kante. Who knows, maybe the midfield combination was wrong. I thought Jorginho played quite well. I thought the centre-backs were fine. Reese James was obviously very, very good before he came off injured, but it's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. Anyway, I've had my rant. I've talked about more about Chelsea at the moment than this particular performance because it really is, for me, a systemic or collective psychological failing in this Chelsea team that really needs to be addressed. I don't. I feel like the players are motivated. I feel like they're running a lot, but something's got to give. Anyway, what do you think? Down in the comment section below, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this game and indeed Chelsea at the moment. Remember to subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new to the channel. Why not like the video to help me out? I'm done, guys. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.